Hello, Gunner James 105. I uh, have to uh, talk to you today about a uh, uh, rifle that um, was uh, part of the uh, last video, I think it was a, uh, a couple of videos back, regarding items that my son-in-law and I had uh, picked up. There was quite a few rifles and quite a few uh, military items. This one here needs a little more attention because this one is uh, the Kui Model 82. And uh, this one um, I'm keeping, not selling. Uh, it's going into the collection for sure. Uh, this one is the military version. I have two uh, in this room. One of them is the, uh, the one they uh, built after the war. Uh, civilians could buy them. They also sold these off as uh, surplus. And uh, cadets kept them for uh, drill and uh, rifle training. And so uh, I'll do some close-ups on it. And I have a little piece uh, attack on the end there. I took it to the range and fired a few shots. One of the things uh, that's uh, tough to get used to when you've gone from... Um, uh, when I was at the range, I had the uh, Siamese uh, uh, infield and out there. And I had a, uh, uh, my Israeli Mauser out there. So I've been uh, firing that. And then I go to uh, start firing this. Uh, the uh, uh, fact that it has where you lift the uh, bolt handle, pull it back, load your cartridge, bolt forward and down, that's normal, and then pull the trigger, except that it's not going to shoot the round because you must then cock it. And uh, then you can pull the trigger and then you can fire it. So, uh, I have uh, in my video where I'm uh, firing this rifle and uh, doing just the, the thing where I would you know, put the round in and nothing would happen. It goes on half cock, the uh, 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 back piece of the bolt goes forward about a quarter inch, nothing happens. So I um, had to get used to uh, cocking that. But this one here um, has the um, uh, markings Kui 22 caliber Model 82 stamped right in this area and sorry right in this area and uh, the uh, design or the thing that that uh, is different about this and the civilian model is uh, right here and I'll show you the close-up but there's the uh, uh, stamping there with the uh, C broad arrow and then down here on the uh, pistol grip section you've got the uh, what they called um, uh, national stock number and then a C broad arrow just up in here so uh, yeah, this one here, um, the um, uh, military designation on this one uh, was a, a C2B1. Um, I think in 43 that was officially known as, uh, it was 42 when they ordered them. And they ordered about, uh, I think it was 30, 34,810. And uh, they uh, uh, designated them uh, rifle, uh, rifle Kui pattern 82, um, instruction number one so that was its designation and um, so then they were they were built for uh, the military training I guess uh, what I've what I noticed uh, when I when I went from the other ones uh, that I was firing there at the range I had uh, developed or I have developed uh, and it's hard to for me to uh, repair I'm working on that but I've developed a bit of a uh, flinch um, from the, the, the recoil and, and the noise. I, I, uh, I uh, have been firing rifles for a long time, but for some reason I've, I've developed this flinch and, and uh, noticed it when I went to go fire this one here. Um, so the, the optimum, the best way to start out with uh, uh, training is the 22, whether it be a handgun or whether it be a, a rifle. So uh, uh, this one here, the uh, there's a little plate right there and so uh, as, as I said I'll, I'll do some close-ups but that little plate would uh, um, this this was basically made to uh, uh, resemble size and, and uh, that sort of thing to the number one mark three and uh, had the same type of uh, positioning for the uh, rear and, and front sight and so um, the um, number four mark one um, had the, the rear aperture or peep sight 
and uh, so this little plate you'd take that little screw off of there and you'd replace that with the uh, a little uh, round disc which was an aperture sight so I'll be looking for that I gotta find one of those I, I, I know someone that has one of these a civilian one that has that on there don't know if he, he doesn't really want to part with that so I'll have to try and find one somewhere but uh, that's something I'd like to add to this is that little uh, rear aperture sight and then uh, the sling I'm not sure on the sling uh, photos I've seen of these they're just using a um, uh, infield type sling which seems rather long your uh, your uh, two clasps that uh, uh, come up from this side and, and down here almost touch each other it's it's quite a long uh, sling uh, on those rifles so it doesn't quite fit this so I don't know if they had anything different or not but maybe it was that I'll get that figured out and uh, so a um, couple of more things um, Kui uh, of course made these Kui is a Canadian company uh, at least it was uh, fully up until 1961 when uh, Winchester um, took over uh, but they had been uh, doing uh, rifles uh, uh, from shotguns to your 22 uh, uh, single pretty much the way this one operates to uh, um, some with um, semi-automatic etc uh, I have the shotgun and I've got some of the uh, uh, repeating rifles uh, have that little uh, uh, tube magazine uh, hanging up there on the wall and uh, so anyways um, yeah eight groove Kui barrel um, the thing is 44 inches overall uh, 27 inch barrel weighs about six and a half pounds uh, trigger pull is about five pounds um, the um, uh, the rest of it I guess that's Basically, some close-ups is what we need, uh, history-wise. Uh, uh, yeah, the uh, when I was in cadets, we we had moved on to the uh, uh, number seven or Mark Seven um, training rifle, which was pretty much the same thing as the number four Mark One, and we used that for drill, and then we would also uh, uh, train with that. It was also a single shot, but um, the same weight and structure as a uh, number four Mark One, so. I will uh, uh, stop uh, at this point and then get you some close-ups and finish off uh, the video for you. Thanks. So this uh, I'll just kind of give you an overall look at the at the rifle and basically just a little uh, metal butt plate. And uh, this one here is in pretty darn good shape. There's not a lot of dings or, you know, any bad spots on it. You know, a little ding here or there, but uh, otherwise not too bad. And the bluing is not too bad. There's a little wear on the band, but other than that, it looks okay. And then uh, coming up to the to the end of the rifle you can see the appearance or the similarity in appearance of the number one mark three kind of a simulated effect but uh, there's your front sight and so going across the top of the rifle that's what it's supposed to look like if you have one there's the uh, little band there and then uh, carry on down that's your uh, your sight just not sure how this is showing up with the light that I've got here but maybe that's a little better and uh, so the mark that I was referring to yeah that one right there so this is the what you'll find on the military version and then uh, quite simply Kui 22 caliber model 82 
pixel. And then uh, there's where your aperture sight would go. I'd heard something about a possibility of mounting a scope there as well. And then uh, just the uh, the bottom as far as that uh, serial number. That C broad arrow is very small. It's hard to make out. Under a magnifying glass you can see it, but that's basically it. And uh, rear swivel. But yes, overall this one's pretty darn nice. Now that other uh, civilian model, it had, uh, it still has. Bit of a, I've got to find another bolt, but this is the bolt that it's got a little sad situation with that being bent folder, uh, forward, so you can't really use this. Otherwise, I mean, you you could. It's it, it is rough. But uh, I'm going to try and find a, a better bolt for that. And that uh, rifle, the other one, the civilian one, is, uh, I haven't cleaned this one or anything. This one I haven't gone through at all. So I will eventually, but you can see the difference in the, uh, try and set that there like so, but there there isn't, uh, number here at all or any any markings and uh, same goes for forward I mean this is all the same you've still got those markings it's identical but uh, just forward of the uh, bolt there there isn't any markings like the other one so identical in every way otherwise but uh, yeah, so there's uh, Model 82, made by Cooey. And as far as I know, it was uh, an exclusive, uh, unlike many other rifles. The only uh, people that were training with these, as far as I know, were Canadian Army and Air Force. So that kind of makes it uh, unique and rare, I guess. So, I think that uh, gives you a good idea of what we're dealing with when we're talking about the Kui Model 82.